Today we are here witnessing a real good transformation of this uh, Queen Anne style dresser. I'm gonna transform it in something textured and quite moody. So let's dive in. Hi there, here Vera from Home Girl. I introduced myself. I am a DIYer. I also flip old and unwanted furniture uh, into something totally different. And I also love to find sustainable design solutions for your everyday home problems. Before going ahead with the video, please stop, comment down below which color you think I chose to transform this uh, dresser. I got this uh, queen style dresser on Marketplace. Uh, the lady was trying to sell it and like any other old piece of furniture, she couldn't find no one to sell it to and so I got it for free. What I most liked were the contrast between the curved and elegant legs and the stabbed and uh, a bit like rocky vibe handles. So I immediately, when I saw it on Marketplace, imagined this piece of furniture a little bit moody and uh, with a darker color. Also, I felt this was the right piece of furniture to try the so famous uh, Annie Sloan chalk paint. I got my paint uh, from a stockist in, uh, in Victoria and I bought Hanfleur, which is this rich brown. And I got also graphite. Well, without saying, the preparation is key. So first thing first, I took the handles off and I gave it a good clean up. And um, I also filled up any gaps and any holes. I I felt it was okay to fill up. Like I didn't want it to make it too perfect, but uh, for example, on the top, there was a little gap and I closed it up with wood filler. As I've seen on YouTube, many furniture ast artists used the uh, uh, chalk paint straight on the piece of furniture without sanding it and then they mentioned that the chalk paint it goes on any surface and so I wanted to try. I tried only on the on the front of the drawers but when I went to apply the second coat I felt that the paint underneath was moving and uh, leaving some patches and so I chose to actually sand down all the pieces. And, uh, and uh, when I went to apply the first coat, it felt that the paint was actually gripping much better on the surface. So because the, um, the front of the drawers are going to have a bit of texture, um, I started painting the furniture more like smooth way, but I think because this is going to be just brown, I wanted to give some movement. I started then from the other side to do more like a, like a X. And we're gonna do at least a couple of coats and this is gonna give to the piece movement and depth and um, yeah, a fun look, you know, texture. And it's not gonna be like flat and boring.
we're gonna do the same thing for the front of the drawers. Make it as textured as possible can. We always have enough time to fix it up. So better experiment than not trying new things again. I gave to the to the furniture two coats of paints. The first paint went really smooth. The second paint I had to help myself with a spraying bottle because it felt a little bit more grippy. The, the, the first layer was a little bit more grippy on the brush and so it was a bit harder to spread the second coat. You definitely use more paint on the second coat. If you wanna have a smooth look, you can use the spray bottle or even just adding a little bit of water in the can. Now let's talk about the, the front of the drawers. So I had this idea in mind and uh, I knew that I wanted to use a scrunched up paper. Uh, I just didn't know how it was going to look like. So I did some, uh, some experiments and um, at the end it worked out just to uh, dip the paper, scrunched up paper in the paint and just uh, tap on the drawer and um, it turned out a really nice, unusual and uneven and texturized, really texturized pattern. I'm really pleased with that. I'm nervous. <laughs> What I do is I constantly change <coughs> change the paper, so uh, the side of the paper, so we always have a little bit different shapes. If not, it kind of always will be the same, which we don't want. Some variety. Not that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I like it. So I have this uh, gilding wax and this long brand and, and we're gonna put it on the handle just to highlight the three-dimensional shapes and I'm gonna just go with the fingers little by little and I'm just gonna yeah I need to go really lightly I don't want to put too much I already have too much on the finger that's the problem. Really little, little, and just uh, spread it around. Sorry about my dirty hands. <laughs> that's how, how, that's how it works. This is small. You can see the three-dimensional shapes. We still have uh, the black on the background. I need to have tape you because since last time I recorded anything, things change it. I created a third color uh, to go on the sides, as you can see the difference. And I wanted to use the same color for the stencil. And I did the stencils and then I sanded them off. Because <laughs> why not? No, I mean, the stencil, uh, the color was a little bit too pale. So I tried to make one 
just brown, same color as, uh, as the base. And I like it because when you open it, let's make it pop at least, you know? Like, I just finished to send this one and uh, we are gonna do the stencil and we do it together. You need to wash your stencil every time you use it. And then you dry it and then you use it again. Right, we let this one dry and then I'm gonna uh, wax the sides and the inside. And One thing that I like to do is to apply some wax on the um, parts where they slide inside the, the dresser so it helps to slide much better and I applied it as well already inside the, the trucks in the drawer in the, in the dresser so it's gonna be much 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 easier to pull it in and out as this kind of old dressers don't have um they don't have a, a proper truck so it helps if you follow me on instagram you already know that i shared a reel about another great trick to improve the performance of old dresser drawers i'll leave the link down below sometimes the the wax trick doesn't work in this case i use that trick so go check it out See the difference between the waxed one and the non-waxed one? Uh, you see how much rich, much uh, richer it gets the, the wood inside and how pale this one is. This one's gonna get the same as this one. This one has already been done and it's pretty much dry. And this one's gonna get a little bit, uh, a little bit, um, calmer color it looks like really red now but once the wax is dry it's gonna get uh, more of this color the last uh, painting step was to give to the piece of furniture a little bit of lived in look a little bit of distressed look and i used uh, this uh, large brush uh, to give it uh, this rough and and, uh, and distressed look
love, love, love when the moment of uh, putting the wax on the furniture comes because first of all it's, it's, it's telling me that uh, the project is, is uh, coming to an end which is always nice, you know, you work hard on it so you just want to see the end result and the second of all because I just love to put wax on furniture just the smell is so therapeutic and you know you need to rub it up everywhere and make sure that you don't miss any any part I don't know, it's just really calming and therapeutic for me so. So what's left to do is just to put the handles on and we are done. I loved to make over this piece of furniture. It was a, it's a piece of history. Who knows what these drawers have seen, and uh, who knows what houses have she she has been into to to decorate. And I can't wait to find her uh, new house to shine in, in in her new coat. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked the transformation. Leave a like if you enjoyed to see this video and comment down below if you learned anything new. Till next time, bye!